business destroyed following a massive fire this afternoon. Local 44's Devin Bates spoke with the Milton Fire Chief, and he joins us now live from the newsroom with all of the details here. Devin? Yeah, Lauren, the fire is still under investigation at this hour, but we know that an employee noticed it after hearing a loud pop near where they were working, and that's when everyone evacuated the facility. They were cutting logs, just started cutting logs, um, probably about 45 minutes earlier. Um, the Sawyer that was on scene that was running the equipment um, heard a pop to his left, looked down, fire was erupting. They hit it with fire extinguishers, but they weren't able to put the fire out. All of the employees of Sear Lumber that were in the sawmill when the fire broke out were able to get out safely. The Milton Fire Department arrived on scene around 4.30. They were soon assisted by about half a dozen nearby fire departments. All the while, materials inside the building were a cause for concern and made fighting the fire an unpredictable battle. There's a lot of fuels, hydraulic fluid, diesel fuels that are in there. There's a lot of hazards. There's actually a basement underneath that saw deck area um, that's covered with wood. Um, it's a 10 foot drop into it. We've kept all our personnel outside. Um, we've been fighting this from the exterior. Sear Lumber is a family run business that's been in operation for 50 years. 41 years ago, there was a fire in this same building. Firefighters say the mill was destroyed when they arrived, and although they believe the fire originated in a piece of cutting equipment, a formal investigation is ongoing. The fire marshal's office will be here with the state police for cause and origin, just for the insurance company. There's nothing to say that this is suspicious at all. It looks completely accidental. It's some type of mechanical failure. Again, nobody was injured in this fire. It did take about two hours for crews to calm things down. They are still on scene now, but they were able to put it out just after 6 this evening for the most part. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.